Welcome to Home Biz Tax Talk. My name is Lysandra Everett. I am the Home Biz Tax Lady where I help home business owners win the tax game. Home Biz Tax Talk airs Monday through Friday. And when you tune into my show, you're going to hear about topics that are important to the home business community. And today is it's important to everybody, okay? Um, so I am going, I usually don't date my videos, but the date of this video is March 19th, 2020, okay? Because this is a very fluid situation that is going on with this whole tax thing. Uh, the last couple of, couple of days, it has been really busy out here on these tax streets. There's been a lot of stuff going around from reputable sources, not so reputable sources, and people have just been getting things wrong. So I didn't really say much about this because we really wanted to get the guidance from the Treasury Department in an official statement, simply because of all the confusion that was going on with what was happening with the tax deadline. So the IRS uh, actually issued a statement yesterday to really clarify what's going on with these um, with these taxes, okay? So the short story is that the tax payment deadline has been extended, not the filing season. So you still have the actual extension that you can file for a six month extension. Okay. So if you um, are an individual, you file a 4868, or if you're a corporation on a calendar year, you file your 7004 to extend, to request an extension, a six month extension for your taxes. But what hasn't been extended is the payment deadline. So normally, Y'all hear me talking about filing extensions is a request to uh, extend the paperwork not for paying. Well, now you have an extension for paying, okay? So normally, penalties and interest start to accrue starting April 15th. Now that has been extended to July 15th. So you are still urged to file on time, okay? April 15th, if you can do it. If not, again, file the extension. But your penalties and interest won't start to accrue until July 15th. So if you've got a tax bill, when you file, you have up until July 15th to pay that tax bill before any penalties and interest start to accrue. And then after July 15th, that's when the penalties and interest start to accrue. So this, it, and it says in this, um, in this statement, it says penalties and interest will begin to accrue on any remaining unpaid balance as of July 16, 2020. If you file your tax return or request an extension of time to file by April 15th, you will automatically avoid interest and penalties on taxes paid by July 15th. Okay. So the IRS reminds individual taxpayers the easiest and fastest way uh, to request filing an extension is to electri electronically file a form 4868 through their tax professional software or using a free file link at irs.gov. Um, businesses must file the, fi the form 7004. Now, it also says this relief only applies to federal income tax, including self-employment income payments otherwise due on April 15th. Now, let me stop there. So two payments are due on April 15th. Your annual tax liability is one. And if you have estimated tax payments, your Q1 is also due on April 15th. So it speaks of those. It does not address Q2 estimated tax payments, which are due in June. So understand that if you don't make a payment in April, you have until July. But if you have estimated tax payments, you still got that baby in June. That's due. Okay. Okay. Um, now, and it says that it, um, the relief only applies to federal income tax payments otherwise due on April 15, 2020, not state tax payments or deposits or payments of any other type of federal tax. Okay. So, um, first of all, this is not applied to the states. The states, I'm sure, will be doing something in the next coming days now that the feds have spoken. California, I know, has already extended their filing. Uh, Maryland has extended theirs, and I do believe um, Georgia has put something out as well. So those are the only three states that I know of that have actually made a statement about how they're handling their particular states. So you need to check out what is going on with your state to see how they're handling the payment or filing or whatever, okay? So you definitely got to do that for your own state. Um, 
And it says uh, state filing and payment deadlines vary and are not always on the, the same as federal filing deadlines, which is absolutely true. So you definitely got to check out your state agencies to see how they're handling their state returns, their state payments. They may just follow what the feds are doing. Who knows? OK, so you've got to do that for your own individual state to um, to get that information. So um, the other thing I will say is this, is that. You know, I think collectively everybody needs to take a wusa and also give everybody a little bit of grace, not only for taxpayers, but also for tax professionals, because now tax professionals who are really trying to follow the CDC guidance and all of that, they're really having to make some adjustments to come to accommodate um, our, our clients. OK, I'm I'm virtual. I've always been virtual. There are some people who have never been virtual and are trying to make the shift there. Are, you know, so there are a lot of tax professionals that are really working to make it as easy as possible for you to file on time. You, your tax professional may be contacting you to just say, hey, let's just file this extension just to be on the safe side. So I encourage you, again, to give each other a little bit of grace. Give your tax professionals some grace. Give your taxpayers and your clients some grace because this is a really um, – has been an unsettling time for us all. You know, schools have, are suddenly closing. You have tax professionals who are trying to be good tax professionals and homeschool at the same time. And let me tell you, that's like oil and water. Okay. It just don't work out. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so I really wanted to just come on and clarify that because there was a whole bunch of stuff that was going on that was put out that the filing season has been extended. That has not happened on the federal level. If it happens on the state level, that's the state's decision. It is not the federal government's decision. Um, I'm not sure that anything has. We've got the um, the House resolution. Was it 6201 that? Um, yeah, because I was reading some of that this morning. The House Resolution 6201 that was just passed in the Senate and the House and has been signed into law. And so that's going to be implemented over the next couple of weeks. It addresses, um, you know, payroll tax and, you know, credits and all of that stuff. There's, you know, there's a lot that you know, that's in that bill. I was reading some of it this morning. Um, there's, you know, some provisions for self-employed people as well. Um, so. So just be looking for that to come out in the next couple of days. Um, but I also urge you to not panic, okay? Because, you know, I've seen people that have gotten angry that, oh, the um, the season wasn't extended. Well, you already have a six-month extension that's available to you. Use it, right? Um, and now you have until July to pay your tax you know, without penalties and interest. So some people feel like that's not enough, but you know what? It's better than the nothing that was there because there are a lot of people who are now their, you know, their, their jobs have changed. They're losing income. And it's, again, it's, it's just a lot. So just know that, you know, for as far as extending the season, there's no real reason for that simply because you have the six month extension available. And now that you have the extension to pay on your taxes, that even helps you even further to reduce the penalties and interest. Um, now, again, that doesn't uh, uh, address Q2 and any other payments that are due after April 15th. This doesn't address that. Can that change? Absolutely. That's why I'm dating this video as of March 19th, 2020, because there are things I think this is still fluid. And I think as this, um, you know, coronavirus, if it continues on its current track, then we're probably going to see some more changes in the future. But right now, that's what it is. So if you are. Um, the, the Treasury Secretary has urged you, if you're due a refund, to go ahead and get your taxes filed so the, the refunds can be processed. And um, and if you owe, just know that, yeah, you still need to file by April 15th or file an extension, but you have until July 15th to pay that without any penalties or interest. And then if it gets beyond that, if you know, you're know you dealing with tax debt that you can't afford to pay, then there's always the tax resolution route that um, that can be addressed but when we get there but even with tax resolution guys you still got to file the taxes so um, so yeah don't uh, sleep on the filing don't procrastinate on the filing just because all of this is going on you have uh, methods to get your taxes filed. You have virtual tax preparers. You have um, your own tax preparer that you may already have your tax professional 
tax professional that's really trying to make adjustments for you so that you can drop your, your paperwork off. You know, all of these things that are happening right now are just all happening at once. So like I said, I just recommend extending a little bit of grace and taking a collective woosah and, um, you know, and just kind of roll with the punches because everybody, I've never seen the whole world adjust at the same time, right? So, uh, so that's, so that's the deal. So the extension is for paying your taxes. It's not for filing. It's usually the other way around. Right. Um, and if you're not ready to file, go ahead and request your extension. That is very simple to do. Okay. So that's it for today's episode of home biz tax talk. Again, we air Monday through Friday and you can come right here to get your questions answered about your home business taxes. All right. Have a great day and I will see you all next time. Bye.